First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who have the 100% truth. This is for the hopeful elect of Israel, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawa. He is, He is this. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Hawa Shai. The Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days. And we are in the last of the last days. This is going to be a quick one. It's just when it expounding a couple of scriptures of what the true prophets will be doing okay, in these days, in these last days. Because we are at the end right now, and you're seeing so much that's going on, the things that's happening out in Chicago, okay? You're seeing the Middle East going to pieces, Okay, these are all prophecies. You're seeing um, the uproars of the people. Okay, you're seeing a lot of demons on people as well, and especially Israelites to proclaim to be and to know who they are. But this, let's get into these scriptures. I'm going to make this quick. Okay. First, I'm going to uh, give acknowledgement to uh, the brother Ariadne Detroit Camp who helped me with some medicine. You know, uh, it was uh, CMOS that helped me get rid of this virus that I had. Also, nothing can ever happen good unless it's through Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And then, by the way, only reason why we get sick is through sin. Okay, so prayer and leaving off from your sin and acknowledging the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that He is the power of everything. Okay. We do prayer and faith. Things will come out to the good. Okay, but that's why it pays to have wise counsel. And what you see what's going on in Chicago with the other camps, there is no wise counsel. But this is what the prophets should be doing. And I'm going to go to First Thessalonians. Five. Let me just hit the, to the points and twenty. Okay, and then reads. Start at the eighteenth verse. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of the heavenly Father Yahweh. In Yahweh Shahamashiach concerning you, you're supposed to thank the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, and everything. Because without the mercy of the Heavenly Father Yahweh toward Israel, and Israel, which means He, Prince Power, okay, in which Jacob's name was changed to Israel, He, the Prince of the Power. Okay, we are to thank Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai for this because He shows He showed us mercy, and we are the seed of the promise. Okay, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai concerning you. 
quench not the spirit. And above all, and this is what the prophets are supposed to be doing if you call yourself a prophet, and your able body despise not prophesizing. Okay? Despise not prophesizing. And that's what we are supposed to be doing. If you're able-bodied, going out to the highways and byways, to the cheap places of concourse, okay? If you call yourself a prophet, okay? And able-bodied. And if you're not doing this, you're not a prophet. Because this shows you don't have any faith. Okay? Second Thessalonians 5 and 22. Also, you have to, don't, you know, prophets won't be, the true prophets won't be doing this. They, they will be doing this. They will abstain from appearance of evil. Second Thessalonians 5 and 22, abstain from all appearance of evil. Okay, that means... You're not going to be walking around going going to count when you do go out or when you go out because, of, you know, GMS is required to go out in season or out of season. But when you go out, you're not going to be looking like the world, okay? You're not going to be sagging your pants. You're not going to be uh, uh, wearing colors that are suggestive of evil. You're not going to be wearing garments that suggest gangs. You're going to abstain from any appearance of evil. Okay. Look at that word, abstain, in the blue letter. Strong's G, 567. Apechamai. Apechamai, Thayer's lexicon, Apecho, Apecho. To hold one's self off, refrain, abstain, okay? So you're going to stay away from that look of evil. You're going to stay away from the world the way they look, because we've been separated from the world, Okay? So we are to abstain, abstain from evil appearances. Okay. And I'm gonna, I said I was going to make this quick. And I'm going to make it quick. Okay. Go to Second uh, Corinthians. Six and one. And it reads, We then as workers together with him beseech ye also that ye receive not the grace of the Heavenly Father Yahweh in vain. Okay. Vain mean empty, so let's double check that word. Vain. Let's see what vain mean in the blue letter interlinear. Strong's G2756. Canas. Canas. Okay. Empty, literally, or figuratively. Empty, vain, devoid of truth, of places, vessels, which contain nothing, of men, empty-handed, without a gift. Metaphor, destitute of spiritual wealth, of one who boasts of his faith as a trans transcendent possession, yet is without the fruits of faith. Metaphor. Of endeavors, labors, acts, 
which result in nothing, vain, fruitless, without effort, vain of no purpose. So, that's why we don't take this grace in vain because it could be taken away from you. Okay? And you don't want that. So you got to take this grace seriously. You got to walk in wisdom. Okay? You have to walk in wisdom. Because when you walk in wisdom, everybody sees that. When you talk in wisdom, everybody hears that. But when you talk like a thug, and when you look like a thug, when you look like a gang member, when you act like a gang member, that's not wisdom. When you walk as the world walk, that's not with wisdom. Colossians 4. You see the title, Fellow Workers. I'm going to go to the fifth verse. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. And, you know, redeeming the time, you got to understand what time we're in. We're in perilous times, okay? And that's why you redeem the time. Because if you're not walking in wisdom, you're not redeeming the time, guess what? Somebody will get hurt. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. There's a lot of judgment going on out there. It's a lot of judgment. That's why you need wise counsel. And that wise counsel should be someone that has wisdom. Someone that's been through thick and thin. Apostles and elders, great millstone teachers on down, been out there for decades. That's wise counsel. Because they're getting it through Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. They are oracles. Other Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And they teach other men okay, how to walk in the Spirit. And we teach other men how to walk in the Spirit. Walk in the ways of Yahweh by Yahweh shot. Because that will be salvation. That will be life. That will be eternal life. Okay? This grace period we have to take seriously and not in vain. So we are supposed to walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you are to answer every man. Second Corinthians. Six and one. We then... As workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in the time of suffering, and in the day of salvation have I security. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offense to anything 
that the ministry be not blamed. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. That's the point right there. Giving no offense. Abstain from evil appearances. Abstain from evil appearances. Okay. First John. Four. So that's the first verse. Beloved. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits. Whether they are of the most high Yahweh. Because many false prophets. Are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit. Of the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is come in the flesh is not of the Most High Yahweh. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Okay? But anti Hamashiach, we say, because that's the, the correct way. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Anti Hamashiachs are the ones that go against the Holy Father Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. You got a lot of Israelites to say they're Israelites. Hebrew Israelites that go against Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which make them along with the world anti Hamashiachs. Okay? And even now, already it is in the world. Ye are of the Most High Yahweh, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. He that knoweth the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, heareth us. He that is not of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So, it's a separation clearly of the true prophets, the true apostles, and the false prophets, and the false apostles. It's just truly a separation. Okay? And we are at the end. We are at the end of the last of the last days. A lot of things are going on. And you have to separate yourself. Keep separating yourself. Keep the, the old man out. Constantly. Keep the new man walking in the spirit. Uh, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. By staying in these scriptures, studying, to show thyself approved, always seeking them ten times more. Okay? Now I'm going to close out with Matthew, St. Matthew. We don't want to take this grace period in vain because. Family of the Word is coming very soon. Very soon. Matthew, St. Matthew 22. And 14, I'm going to end it. And it's a red letter. Matthew 22 and 14. Our Lord the Howard shy speaking. For many are called, but few are chosen. And with that, the water to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to 
bring this out. Uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, that will honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And with that, Shalom.